Thus far, our discussions on, on operational amplifiers have dealt with ideal op-amps, but of course they aren't ideal. We'll consider several of these imperfections and limitations in this class. For example, if there's no voltage connected to either input, you would expect the output to be zero volts. But because of variations in the manufacturing process, two devices that are intended to be identical may not be. For example, we have here a schematic of the input stage of an operational amplifier. Although it's intended for the two transistors and the two resistors to be identical to each other, they aren't. And even when the inputs are grounded, you'll find that there's a voltage differential or an imbalance in this configuration. And there will be a voltage between those two points where ordinarily if they are perfectly balanced there would be no voltage there. We model this reality by including a DC voltage at the non-inverting terminal of the op amp. So this model then consists of an ideal op amp with what we're going to refer to as an offset voltage, VOS, connected to the inverting terminal so that the actual operational amplifier including this imperfection would be contained in this scale. So we have here the non-inverting input and the inverting input of an imperfect amplifier which can includes this DC offset voltage on the non-inverting terminal. In the lab you can see the effect of this offset voltage by grounding both the terminals and then measuring the output voltage and you'll find that the output voltage isn't exactly zero volts. In fact, it takes a voltage across the inputs. Typically you'd put an adjustable voltage on there and adjust that voltage a polarity opposite to the polarity that you measure up here to in effect nullify or overcome that offset voltage. Manufacturers specify a range of VOS in the data sheet. VOS may be either a positive or negative value and is typically on the order of uh, 1 to 5 or 0 to 5 millivolts. So here we have the input offset voltage referring to it as VIO, referring to the input offset. Minimum would be zero. Typical would be 1.5 millivolts. Um, and a maximum of 5 volts for the LM324 operational amplifier. You'll notice that as is the case with most specifications, the specifications are given for a given ambient temperature. And the input offset voltage is um, temperature dependent. Not a lot that you can do about compensating for that, but just be aware that there is a temperature dependency component to that also.